Introduction Get started quickly with IHC Visual. Most aspects of IHC Visual are covered in this section, and we recommend that you take a printout and then try out the examples for yourself. When you have read this section, you will be able to 1. Insert IHC components 2. Make use of complete program routines called function blocks and function links in your IHC program 3. Check whether your IHC program functions as intended by doing a simulation 4. Upload your program to the controller 5. Print out complete documentation on your IHC installation 6. Create your own function links and function blocks. Screen display. When IHC Visual starts, the following screen display will appear. All screen displays in this help file have white background for optimum readability. The actual screen displays have blue background. The screen display is divided into two windows. Installation to the left and functions to the right. Using the installation window, you can insert IHC components into your IHC installation. The components are arranged in a tree structure, as is used in, for example, the Windows Explorer function. At the head of the hierarchy is the controller, symbolized by the icon. IHC Visual is always pre-installed with the controller. Under the controller are the various IHC modules, grouped into input modules, output modules, and modules which communicate via the RS-485 protocol, e.g. an IHC modem. You can see, for example, which input modules are inserted in the program by clicking the sign in front of the icon, just as you do when opening a folder in Windows Explorer. The program is pre-installed with a 24 volt input module and a 230 volt output module. In the function window to the right, you can see which function blocks have been inserted in your program. The function blocks are grouped according to the functions they perform. Function block groups are preceded by the icon. IHC Visual is pre installed with function block groups for living room, bathroom, hall, bedroom and so on. You can add new function block groups and delete existing groups as and when required. The groups are not pre-installed with function blocks as can be seen from the absence of a sign in front of the group symbol. Insertion of IHC components. We will start by inserting a 24 volt input module and a 230 volt output module. This is done as follows. 1. Highlight, i.e. click, Input Modules in the installation window to the left. 2. Select the menu option Insert Input Modules, Input 24. You can also simply right-click Input Modules and select Input 24 in the pop-up list. I'll read a bit again. You can also simply right click input modules and select input 24 in the pop up list. When the insertion has been done, input 24 1 will appear under input modules. The number in brackets indicates that input 24 1 is located on data line number 1 of the controller. When several input modules are inserted, they are automatically allocated vacant data lines on the controller. If you insert a further 230 volt input module, it will be allocated the name input 230 2A. This is because two 230 volt input modules can be located on one data line. The next 230 volt input module on the data line will be allocated the name input 230. 2B. You can change the data line allocated to a module by right-clicking the module 
and selecting Properties in the pop-up box. The following dialog box will then appear. This dialog box contains a drop-down panel data line where you can select between vacant data lines. The other values shown in the dialog should also be entered. As you will see later, doing this consistently means that the IHC visual program can generate detailed documentation for your use and for the customer. Explanation of dialog fields. Note, optional note on module. Location, room in which module is located. Position, position of module in room. Cable, cable type used for wiring the module's data line. Cable number, cable number. Wire color naught volt, wire color to naught volt terminal on module. In the drop down panel the colors are numbered and there are two colors with the same number. The idea is that two identically numbered wires go to the same module. Wire color 24 volt, wire color to 24 volt terminal on module. Wire color data. Wire color for data terminal on module. The associated drop down panel for most of the data entry fields contains pre installed selectable options. Usually, all you need to do is to choose one. The insertion procedure for the 230 volt output module is the same. In this case, simply click Output modules, then select Insert Module Output 230. Alternatively, just right click Output Modules and select Output 230. When Output 230 has been inserted, right click it and select Properties. Enter the following data for the module. 